Hello and welcome to the first video in a new playlist which I'll call CFAQs and this is where I'll put any videos responding to questions that some watchers of the videos have asked. So I had a question and thanks very much for the question, it was nice to, to receive earlier which is written as follows, how do, if, if I want to have the user input only between 1 and 99 how do I use fgets and scanf? If I want to write a program in a way so that the user can't input any other character or number except 1 to 99. Right, the first thing I want to deal with before I start with the code is this bit here. You can't actually, or I'm 99.9% .9 sure you can't when the user is typing something into the console, like so, actually restrict what they're typing. What you have to do is take this input and then deal with this input and if it isn't what you want then you need to ask again for input. The second thing that's important in the question here is how do I use fgets and scanf? Because funnily enough, you use exactly to do this a combination of both of these. And you remember from the previous video when we looked at scanf that we could use scanf on its own simply to get input from the user. Say we wanted to get a number and we store it then in our address of our number like this, taking from the input. The problem with this function is it assumes the, enters, the user is going to enter an integer and if they don't and enter a letter or something you can tie it in a program. The program crashes or scrolls endlessly through input but it doesn't work properly. scanf, where you actually specify where the input is coming from, from a string of characters or something, if you're doing that with the standard input as well, is also behaves in just as bad a way if the input isn't in the format that's expected. So the best way of going about it is first to get the input using fgets and then once you've got that you can look at what you've got and then use scanf to process your input as you need. So I'll show in this program here how we're actually going to do that. I've included string.h above a main function here. I've got program start, program quit, an array of 64 characters for user input and the num which is what we're going to be getting from the user from 1 to 99 as a ver an integer variable here. So the first thing I'm going to do is say while num equals naught. And basically the way this is going to do, what this program is going to do, if the user enters something that's not 1 to 99, num will be reset if it's been changed at all during this loop to 0. So the loop will keep on running until num has conformed to 1 to 99, in which case it's no longer 0 and the loop will then break. And the first thing we need to do, it will do a printf and put please enter a number 1 to 99 as so. And then we'll use our fgets and we'll take, fill up our user input, we'll take 63 to leave space for the null character and we'll take this from the standard input as so. Okay, so we have our user input and now we have to think about all the things and this is where passing strings become a bit of a pain. Um, we need to think about all the things that the user could do. So the user could enter many more characters than two characters and the reason I've put more than two character spaces, the user could enter the number, I don't know, 1024 and if we only said we want to store in two characters then we would actually read in 10 and that would conform to the 1 to 99 but actually the user has typed in 1024 so they aren't conforming to what we wanted so deliberately said we'll read in 63 characters so we know that our input has to be of a length of two or three characters including the null character or the enter character on the end so the first thing we can say is is if string length, string length of user input is less than 2 or I'll just copy this the string length of the user input is greater than 3 then we know that the user has already input something valid because 1 to 99 will conform to this so we can put invalid and we'll put strlin for now invalid string length and then simply put in our new line and now we'll put num well num will be zero here so we don't need to do anything at all here we'll just put a continue and go around to the next 
my goodness, I can't type. The Rex part of the C O N T I N U E. Very good. Oh, and, and we can loop round now to the next part of the while loop, and it'll ask the question again. Please enter. And here you don't have to, but I've put out a message as to why. Okay, assuming it's passed this test, the next thing we can now do is actually scan in using sscanf what the uh, user has entered. So we can say if sscanf, and now what we want to do is we want to take the user input. We're going to be scanning in signed integer, and we're going to be putting this into num equals one. Now scan sscanf returns as a value the number of successful placements it made in the format string. So for instance, if you were expecting a string of this format of four numbers, but only three of them were, it would return three if it managed to fill three of the four numbers. So in this case, we're trying to fill one. So for it to have been successful, it has to be a one. Sorry, so I'm saying if it's not equal to one, then we'll reset num to zero. It should be zero anyway, because it shouldn't fill this number. So for example, if the user typed a, b, or something like this. And then also we'll do a little print f and a continue just to say that scanf is where we failed. And now the last thing is, it was okay. It was a number that was entered. Now, due to the length properties here it can't be anything or it could be a zero I guess is the only other thing it could be so now what we want to say is if num is less than one or and it can't really be because above 99 greater than 99 it can't really be because above that would be too many characters then we'll set num back to zero if it doesn't conform to our 1 to 99 and call it invalid range and continue the loop. Otherwise, we can print number OK and we'll print the number out as well. And then the while loop will break out because num is no longer zero. So if I just save that now and go and compile and then run the program, it's now entering a number. So first of all, let's test it by typing QW. And you can see it says it's invalid scanf, please enter. Now let's type 100, and now it's saying invalid string length, please enter a number. Let's enter 0, and now it's saying the range is invalid, please enter a number. So let's enter 33, and everything's OK. Let's run again and enter 2, and you can see number OK to program quit. So what you'd normally do with a program like this, I guess, if you've got other things to do in the program apart from just restrict the input, you would put this into a function saying, returning an integer, saying get num. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope I've understood the question correctly and it's answered it. Uh, comments, questions, welcome as always on YouTube. Thanks.